The roar of the crowds, the nail-biting finishes, and one nation lifting the Euro 2024 trophy. The UEFA Euro 2024 tournament provided unforgettable moments, thrilling matches, and ultimately a new champion. This is the story of how Spain conquered Europe and lifted the Euro 2024 trophy. But was it their tiki-taka mastery, a new generation of stars, or the tactical genius of Luis Enrique? Stay with me to find out how Spain conquered Europe in 2024. Spain's win in the Euro 2024 final is a major achievement in international football. The tournament began on June 14, 2024, and Spain went through a tough path to win the trophy. Spain was placed in Group B with Croatia, Italy, and Albania. They started their campaign with a commanding 3-0 win against Croatia on June 15, 2024 at the Berlin Olympia Stadium. This solid performance set the stage for their group matches. Their second game was on June 20, 2024, in Gelsenkirchen against Italy. Spain continued their strong form with a narrow 1-0 victory. The match showcased Spain's disciplined defense and effective attacking, underscoring their tactical edge. In their final group match on June 24, 2024 in Dusseldorf, Spain played against Albania. They ended the group stage with another 1-0 win. Spain's consistent performance across all three games meant they topped Group B with a perfect record, winning every match and showing they were ready for the knockout stages. The knockout phase started on June 30, 2024, with Spain facing Georgia at the Colonia Stadium. Spain showed their attacking strength with a decisive 4-1 win. Their smooth attacking play and sharp finishing allowed them to move on confidently to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Spain played against Germany on July 5, 2024 at the Mercedes-Benz Arena in Stuttgart. The match was a true test of endurance and skill. After a close 90 minutes, the game went into extra time. Spain managed to edge out Germany to a 2-1 victory thanks to their resilience and tactical adjustments. This win secured Spain's place in the semi-finals. The semi-final on July 9, 2024 saw Spain take on France at the Allianz Arena in Munich. Spain's performance combined strategic discipline with attacking flair. They won 2-1, demonstrating their ability to handle pressure effectively. This victory highlighted Spain's strong team cohesion and tactical expertise. Well Danny Olmo. Brilliant feat! It's 2-1! The Euro 2024 final was a historic encounter. Spain faced England, a team hungry for their first major trophy since 1966. The game started slowly as both teams sized each other up. Spain dominated possession early but had trouble creating clear chances. England's Phil Foden tested Spain's goalkeeper Unai Simon with a shot, but Simon handled it easily. Spain controlled the game but couldn't turn their dominance into goals before halftime. Just before the break, Spain suffered a setback when key midfielder Rodri had to be substituted due to injury. This was a blow for Spain, as Rodri played a vital role in controlling the midfield and providing defensive stability. His replacement, Martin Zubimendi, needed to rise to the occasion under the pressure. The second half started with a quick turn of events. Just minutes after the restart, Spain took the lead thanks to Nico Williams. The 22-year-old, who had been one of Spain's standout players, finished a great move set up by the 17-year-old Lamin Yamal. Lamin Yamal's perfectly weighted pass allowed Williams to score. This goal highlighted Spain's young talents and their effective tactics. However, Spain's lead did not last long. England equalized midway through the second half with a superb long-range shot from Cole Palmer. His well-placed effort from outside the box beat Simon, which caused urgency into both teams and made the game more dynamic as each side pushed for a decisive edge. Oh, in the closing moments, as extra time seemed likely, Spain showed their determination and tactical adaptability. Despite Rodgers' injury and England's pressure, Spain regained the lead with Michael Oyarzabal's precise finish from a cross by Mark Cucuriela. Oyarzabal's goal capped off a well-executed team move, demonstrating Spain's ability to perform under pressure and deliver in crucial moments. Oyarzabal scores for Spain! Spain's approach in the final combined their traditional style with some new elements. The use of wingers like Nico Williams and Lamin Yamal added width and energy to their game. Coach Luis de la Fuente showed tactical flexibility by adapting his strategy after Rodri's injury. Switching to a 4-2-3-1 formation helped Spain keep control of midfield and create more chances. Nico Williams, Lamin Yamal, and Michael Oyarzabal were key to Spain's victory. Williams' goal showed his excellence for seizing opportunities and 
finishing well. Yamal, despite being so young, played with composure and skill, making a big impact with his assist. Oyarzabal's late goal secured the win and underscored his importance to the team. Luis de la Fuente's approach in Euro 2024 mixed innovation with traditional Spanish football. Unlike previous Spanish teams that focused on possession and patient buildup, this one played a more direct style. They mainly used a 4-3-3 formation, which helped Spain make the most of their wingers and keep a high defensive line. The setup combined attacking fluidity with defensive discipline, allowing Spain to dominate games with both possession and counter-attacks. De La Fuente's strategy featured two proper wingers, Nico Williams on the left and Lamin Yamal on the right. Williams brought pace and directness, while Yamal often cut inside to create space and chances. Together, they stretched defenses and created scoring opportunities. Alvaro Morata played as the traditional number 9, providing a strong presence and work rate that complemented the wingers and acted as a focal point for the attack. De La Fuente's tactical flexibility showed when he adapted to in-game situations. For example, after Rodri's injury in the final against England, he shifted from a 4-3-3 to a 4-2-3. 3-1 formation. Martin Zubimendi and Fabian Ruiz adjusted their roles to keep balance and control. This adaptability was crucial in Spain's success during key moments. Spain's success in Euro 2024 largely depended on their use of wingers and a traditional number 9. Nico Williams and Lamin Yamal, both young talents, brought a fresh approach to Spain's classic style. Williams used his speed and direct running on the left flank to stretch defenses and create space. Yamal, although younger, displayed great great skill and often moved inside from the right to connect play and set up goal scoring opportunities. Alvaro Morata played a crucial role as the number 9. Unlike more modern fluid forward roles, Morata's traditional center forward position gave Spain a solid reference point for their attacks. His strength and ability to hold the ball allowed the wingers and midfielders to support the attack and take advantage of the spaces he helped create. Morata's positioning in the box was key for finishing crosses and linking up with the wingers significantly boosting Spain's goal-scoring chances. The synergy between the wingers and Morata was central to Spain's attack. The wingers' precise crosses and cutbacks were matched by Morata's ability to find the right spot and finish. This combination kept Spain a constant threat in the final third, leading to numerous chances and ultimately their victory in Euro 2024. Real Sociedad played a key role in Spain's success in Euro 2024, with several players making important contributions. Five players from the club were in the squad, and Michael Oyarzabal was a standout, scoring the decisive goal in the final. His ability to link up with teammates and contribute both offensively and defensively highlighted Real Sociedad's strong impact on the national team. But Oyarzabal wasn't the only Real Sociedad player who made a difference. Robin Lenormand and Aymeric Laporte, who were both crucial in defense, provided depth and stability to Spain's backline. Their familiarity with each other's play, developed through their time at Real Sociedad and Athletic Bilbao, helped form a solid defensive unit. Real Sociedad's influence was also seen in Spain's tactical approach. The club's focus on technical skill and tactical awareness was reflected in the national team's performance. The adaptability of Real Sociedad players to different tactical demands was essential in keeping Spain's high standards all throughout the tournament. In addition to this, Spain's tactics in Euro 2024 marked a change from their previous winning strategies while keeping some core principles. Unlike their 2008 and 2012 victories, which focused on possession and midfield control, the 2024 team took a more direct approach. They used wingers and the traditional number 9, shifting away from the tiki-taka style that defined their earlier success. This tactical change in 2024 was a response to how international football has evolved. Teams have adapted to counter high possession strategies, and Spain's mix of direct attacking play and strong defense allowed them to compete well against various opponents, including tough teams like England. Comparing Spain's 2024 tactics with successful teams like France in 2018 and Italy in 2021 shows similarities in adapting strategies and effectively using key players. Like France and Italy, Spain adjusted their tactics based on their opponents and the situation, which played a big part in their successful campaign. Spain's success in the 2024 UEFA European Championship was highly 
highlighted by standout performances from both experienced players and emerging talents. Rodri, named player of the tournament, was a key contributor. Even though he had to leave the final due to an injury, his influence throughout the competition was crucial. Rodri's control in midfield and ability to manage the game's pace showed why he's considered one of the best in this role. His performances were vital for Spain, balancing defensive responsibilities with transitioning the team from defense to attack. Nico Williams also made a significant impact, particularly in the final against England. The 22-year-old winger scored the opening goal, showing his knack for making decisive plays. His speed, skill, and creativity were constant threats to opponents, and his goal in the final underscored his importance to the team's strategy. At just 17 years old, Lamin Yamal emerged as one of the brightest stars of the tournament. His energy and technical ability made him stand out, and his assist to William in the final highlighted his excellent vision and playmaking skills. Yamal's record as the youngest player to score in the Euro semi-final solidified his status as a rising star. His contributions, including four assists and one goal, showcased his potential to be a key player for Spain in the future. So, what's your take on this? Let us know in the comments down below and stay tuned for more videos like this one.